Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Horace and you're watching Vector PC Guides. So guys, today I'm going to guide you about that how you can fix the EWRG FX D3D 12 error in GTA 5 Enhanced Edition in your system. And this video is going to be really simple and short, so just watch the video till the end. And if you're new in this channel, kindly like this video, share to your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, first of all, we need to install the latest DirectX 12 and Visual Retribution files in our system. So for this, you need to visit the official website of DX and install, download the DX12 in your system. And here is the setup. Open the setup, accept the agreement, click to next, install the Bing bar. It's optional, so it's up to you. Click to next and wait for it. Maybe take some time, so don't be panic. And uh, after a few minutes, it's done. Click to finish, get back, and now move, move to the Visual Retribution folder. And in this folder, you can find all the visual files uh, to run the game properly. So visit the official website and download all the visual files. And here is the batch file. So run this batch file and it will automatically install all the visual files in your system. It will take some time. So you just need to wait for it and uh, do the same step you see in this video. Click to yes, click to OK and rather of the steps, it will automatically perform. So guys, if you know this channel, kindly like this video, share to your friends and subscribe to this channel for more content. And uh, we just need to wait for it. And it's done. Now the pack steps are complete guys. And now we need to move to the next step. And the next step is we need to uh, close GTA 5 in the task manager. So open your task manager. And here you need to check your CPU performance in the performance section here. And here you need to find your game and end task your GTA 5 from here. And once it's done, now also your CPU space is free now. Close task manager and the next thing is we need to. So guys, if the if none of the previous method worked, then the last resort is to force your game on DX11 mode instead of DX12. So for this, you need to visit the website you can see on the screen. I can provide you the link in the description. And uh, so you can simply download this second zip file and once download it extract the d3d12 file from the folder and copy it now navigate to the gt5 game installation directory and uh, here is you need to paste this file now relaunch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and uh, that's it guys by applying these steps you will 100 percent fix your problem found this video helpful guys kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out